Having a growth mindset is maybe easier said than done. And leaving emotional baggage behind might be even more challenging. What about the motto, if it's not useful, joyful or beautiful, get rid of it? I read this sentence a number of years ago in the context of decluttering space, but I realized this is so applicable to my mind space as well, to get rid of that emotional baggage that I'm dragging along. If we look at the criteria, number one, is it useful? This critical thoughts that I have about myself, about my achievements, or constant reflecting on my failures, does it help me? Or does it discourage me, make me feel guilty and drag me down? If it's not useful, get rid of it. Secondly, is it joyful? And this reflects to or refers to relationships as well. Is it something that energizes me or is it something that dragging me down? Is it a positive thought that I have about myself and a sense of achievement? Or is it something that makes me anxious? Something that once again leave me doubting myself or make me feel incompetent and maybe even feeling useless or worthless. If this thought is not sparking joy or the relationship is not sparking joy, perhaps it's time to disinvest your emotional energy and let it go. The third criteria is, is it beautiful? Once again, is this memory or this past experience or this thought process filling me with a positive feeling about myself or a warm, fuzzy feeling about my friendships or what I do? Does it give me a sense of purpose or does it leave me feeling disengaged or make me feel that I'm a failure? If it's the latter, let it go. We can use the time to reflect on our past and we can learn from it. But we need to be clear on what is baggage, what is not useful, not joyful, not beautiful. Let it go. That helps us to use our emotional energy to build our resilience and to look forward to the future and to engage with the future, to live lighter.